So as the pig was roasting, you know, it was all charred and black, and mm-hmm. it was in a giant smoker yeah. or oven or smoker, a yeah. barrel. Yeah. Uh, Patrick and I were talking. Mm-hmm. You know, let's just open this up for the rest of you guys. If they had cut that open and scorpions and spiders had come out of it, mm-hmm. would you still have eaten the pig? And or if the pig, as it was being lifted off, squealed. Right. Like one one last gasp. At, I, at, I, I would say no to both of those because that would mean that it was clearly undercooked. If it squealed. Well, either. If 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 live scorpions and spiders still crawled out of it when they were cutting it open, yeah. that means that they did not let it cook for long enough. Well, I'm those those something... should be nice and, and roasted yeah. uh, scorpions and spiders. I'm thinking something supernatural. Like, you know, beginning of the yeah, apocalypse. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm not going to eat a supernatural anything. You wouldn't? No. You just let it go to waste? But what, what? if you, what if like through osmosis you could get like supernatural? Like the band? Yeah. Or like the TV show? Take your pick. Would you do it just to kind of like calm down Dave and Nicole? But no, it's cool. It's cool. It's, I will we'll still eat it. Yeah, let's, that's I'll, fine. Sh- it's, here, I'll do it. I'll go first. Okay. I'm I'll, thinking I'll, like first signs of the apocalypse coming, like kind of fucking up somebody's wedding. You're just like, no, 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 no. It's so a really petty apocalypse. Yeah, just kind of like early, early, early. Like, you, you know, know, I didn't. It's I, like a test run. Yeah, yeah, head cold apocalypse. I didn't ask if anyone objected to this union. So maybe <laughs> if that would have been like God's way of saying, I object. And then you have to eat the pig. No, no, it's fine it's fine this doesn't mean anything everybody has one undead incident at their wedding i don't know that i would i don't think i would eat any of it if scorpions came out of it how about spiders yeah probably not how about a live human hey what's up man (laughs) it'd be pretty tiny bro it was 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 crazy in there it was big you couldn't fit a full-sized man inside of there what if he was full grown but small just (laughs) just just a little person, yeah, no, but like, like st- Peter Dinklage came crawling out. <laughs> yeah, it was all Game of Thrones. Yeah, what, yeah, what, nights, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was great. That's a great, viral that'd be a, that'd be a great crossover, I think, they're, in they're a lot of ways. HBO right. stepping up their viral marketing game yeah. in some really <laughs> inventive <laughs> ways. He's Peter been in Dinklage. there. He's been in there for hours. <laughs> yeah, man, that guy works hardest work. There's got to be a trap door or something. <laughs> I it's, saw this. This is like when they had Undertaker <laughs> under the ring. You I know they've got something where the you Penn can just... and Teller special where they right. pulled back the curtain yeah. on all this they nonsense. They that pig all the way through, and then I, oh, nobody knew. Yeah, yeah look it's at that. Mirrors. It's just mirrors. <laughs> Swapped the pig out last Smoking second. Smoking mirrors, even. Oh, anyway. Yeah, eat some, eat some spit pig. Yeah, that was tasty. And then fried chicken. Fried chicken was okay. The mac and cheese was, mm. was my number one thing there at the... The cookie table. Yeah, and the cookie table, you, the pie uh, table. And you, you, you took a lot of cookies home. Not by choice. <laughs> I, was, I was loaded to bear. They were in your pockets and everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, yes, I was blessed on the way well, out of the cookies. They were serving a lot of bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be held. Those were in my, that was in my pockets, the too. Cook, the cookie table was And you was were drinking drunk. for three, so. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Those, all those cookies were for Max. Got to meet Max. Yeah, yeah he that, was there. That was awesome. Yeah, He's drinking. long. He's a long you baby. You have a long baby. I do. Like long cat, but in kid form. Yeah. yeah. Long baby. Long baby is long. And he and he stood, you know, I he was in better spirits than I would have expected. What is he, like a month and a half, two months? No, about a month and a half, about seven weeks, seven and a half weeks. Uh, that's still pretty, that's a that's a young being still. I know. I know. Let's introduce him to ceremony early. I've got, I've got milk that's older than him. Gross. I should probably throw out that milk. I think there's uh, some French fries has been sitting in my fridge a little longer than that. (laughs) And French fries, you put them in the fridge for any length of time. You should throw them away. Yeah. Uh, But you should probably get rid of those French fries. Name your French fries. I should probably just take everything in my fridge and set it on fire. Yeah. (laughs) But I think if I did that, like scorpions and spiders would crawl out (laughs) of all of it. Would you still eat it? (laughs) Definitely. uh, I'm not going to eat it now. So I think if if that happened, it'd be like an extra like, uh, I was right to not want to eat any of this Now I'm not going to eat anything that came out of this fridge. Yeah. Fridge is off limits now. What if... Fridge is possessed. Milk and French fries came out of a dead scorpion. I don't think I'd eat those either. Not just for novelty. Well, how dead is this scorpion? And how fresh is the milk? The milk the, is really fresh. Okay. Have you ever had dead scorpion milk? Uh, yeah. It's a. <laughs> it's a delicacy. The other artisan. The, the other <laughs> weird inquiry they came up while we were watching. These all came up as the pig was being. Finished and brought it's a bunch off. Of people standing around drinking while they're so me, yeah. Board, Drew, so. Drew, Katie, and I were talking. If you got in an accident, or fr- a close friend got in an accident, uh-huh. and uh, the, the the leg was severed or injured, uh, the flesh was fine. Uh huh. 
and the hospital gave you the option, hey, you could take this home. If you cook it, you season it. You know, you, you could eat it. Like, if you had an opportunity you where... you eat your own leg? Or, or a friend's. Your buddy's leg. With his like blessing? Like, if you had the opportunity to guilt-free eat, a eat human, human flesh. No. What, what, what if it was what your if friend's you, leg? What if you really like it? Well... Yeah, that'd be a problem, I guess. Because you wouldn't be able to have it again. I'm in. Absolutely. What if you're like, I can only eat human now? I, I, think, the, I think the well, way we... It, frankly, I do that. That, is, that is, to me, uh, less like recoiling in horror than the people that cook and eat the placenta after birth. Uh, I don't know about that. That's terrifying Well, to me. but that's extra pieces. Uh, yeah, it's also not... That's like eating... Well, in this case, it's like an extra piece. Awful. You're that's losing like a leg. Eating, that's like eating... That's like eating like organ meat. It's, it's not. It's, it's not like it's, it. it's not like it's like if it's a leg. Guess what? That's like a steak. Well, uh, the placenta is just like eating. It's like a ham hock. Like you're eating the yolk. You take the yolks out of your eggs. Um, it's not really the same thing. Sure, it's just it's, feeding the feeding the whatever's along for the ride. Yeah. Well, I also wouldn't eat an egg after a chicken had been growing in it for a while. It's because you used up all the good yolk. Yeah, exactly. Good bad yolk in there. <laughs> you get me a full placenta, no baby. Then you're in? Then I'm in, because you're right. Then it's just like big human eggs. All right, write make, that I'll make, down. A, I'll make an omelet. <laughs> Remember that for your birthday. I know huh? a guy. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, d- yeah. my, in, my, in, my, in my birthday's during E3, so who knows what sort of horrible <laughs> oh, LA, yeah, resources you can get you'll you can have get, yeah, yeah, in LA. Downtown get- Los Angeles, you need a human... I run around with these CBS corporate cards. <laughs> I think I, I think I would blame the doctor more than anybody for being like, "Hey, do you want to take this home to eat it?" Like what? Like no, letting him. Would, yeah. Oh, he's off. Oh, uh, for the the, the leg. For the or leg. Well, yeah. what if what if like the guy who's losing the leg is like, "Dude, let's fucking eat my leg, bro." Yeah, I think we came hey, this down. Isn't, at, this isn't like like without the knowledge of the person who's losing the right, leg. You're all you're all in. This is yeah. like we're getting together. It's like, you bring potato salad. Hey, I'll bring my leg. It's sad that I lost my leg, but let's not let it go to let's waste. Let's make right. the best of this. Yeah. let's try this out. Put our frowns on upside down yeah. and eat, have a leg eat my party. buddy's leg. I, I'm in. I'm totally on board. Jeff will eat a leg. I, I will think, eat I, a leg. I think the way we came down was that we wouldn't eat our own legs in that situation. But if like a friend of mine came to me and was like, "Hey, want to like if your leg came yeah, off, yeah. would you eat your own leg?" I think it might be illegal. Probably, but that's legalities not, not, aside, okay. the hypothetical is in a. This is also a hospital that's letting you go there's home. A lot of, there's a lot of illegal yeah. stuff in the world, <laughs> man. This is. A lot of suspension of disbelief okay. in this story. At I don't. Th- I don't point. think I could eat my own leg, even in this guilt-free scenario. It would have to be a friend's leg. Well, I think even if it's my friend's leg, like I'm gonna need to have it carved off first. Like I'm not gonna be able to just walk up to the leg that's been in the smoker all afternoon mm. and just. Oh, carve you need off to be hidden, so it just seems like it's a pile of meat. Yeah, if it's just a pile of meat, and you tell me like, "Hey, this is yeah, the homeboy's a, leg." Let's move on. What? My stomach's starting to go. <laughs> yeah. Did you have lunch? Mm, I had some peanuts. At know. least I think they were a peanut. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, yeah, let's pray we never have to make these choices. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one had to eat any legs on Saturday, so that was good. And yeah, we know of. Human. How, how's Brad doing? Do you think he might lose a leg after? Oh, you know, I mean, he's, he's had this cold for a while now. Do you think it could es- escalate? Like, may we get a leg out of it? Or The problem right. is, like, it would have to be, like, it would have to be, like, some sort of trauma, right? Because you wouldn't mm-hmm. want to have, like, a gangrene leg. Like, if there was any sort of. Yeah, right. this, yeah, it's yeah. a clean leg. It would have to be like a just a clean cut at some point. Yeah, like it was a, a bad car accident or something. It's just like no. Nope. Yeah, it just came off like. Whoo. Yep, just clean cut on the leg. Well, there's gone. that leg on the road. Dude is still alive and okay. But if it's clean cut, then you put it back on, right? They can do that now, right? Graft it. Assume that it's a clean cut, but it's it's. it's let's just take nerve let's, damage. Let's, let's, let's take the hypothetical girl even even further and say it was an elective uh, amputation for some balance. Yeah, they want they want to put tank treads on. Yeah. Get these legs that makes off. that makes me feel a little better about having okay. this conversation. Like he, okay. he's replacing with bionic legs. Yeah, this was so a what choice. are we gonna do with this leg? Yeah, let's eat it. What, what can we do? Yeah, I was put in the freezer. Dude's and figured even out. better off after he's like, yeah, get rid of this leg, and I can have my super legs. It's gonna be great. And then some my insurance yeah. covers it. So, and I'm starving after all this stuff. So, <laughs> as long as a robot doesn't come by and is like, I want to lose my robot leg and get a real human leg. You're like, no, we're, we already already did <laughs> no, on this I leg, don't. robot. Sorry. Oh, I was on the list. No, we're gonna eat this leg. Sorry. <laughs> you guys are leg, animals. <laughs> we are. Well, that's what you want to be, robot. Follow our lead. Here, eat some of this leg. <laughs> <laughs> Although you feed a yeah, robot, yeah, human exactly. Leg, then you're gonna get a taste for human flesh. Yeah, all okay, over. Okay. I've been reading a book. <laughs> that's the line. That's yeah. the line. Can't then, feed your friend's leg to a robot. And then during the apocalypse, French fries and milk come out of the robot. Oh. I saw Terminator. 
Yeah, that's how that it, might be all right because a, 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 a robot alien, right? can keep French fries fresh, oh. crispy. Yeah, hot. Yeah, crispy. Or would prepare them at the right time. You know, you you put the frozen potatoes in You're there. You're just thinking or of that vending and, machine at the L.A. Convention Center that used to serve hot a, French fries. Yeah, what, what if, if that, that was, was just a, what if that was just a combat platform? <laughs> I mean that could. I mean that but is also a, that is basically that. a robot. So like we're only a step away. All it needs to be is mobile at this point. Yeah, I think that's the yeah. It's the next step. Mobile French fry robots. Black I've, Ops French fry delivery platform. I Black Ops Two. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Near future. We'll be in that area. And... We'll be out right off Figueroa, man. Just like in the trailer. Yep. <laughs> Go to the twenty twenty five. Seems to bring my bug out bag. Things could get gnarly. Prom night. French fries and milk. <laughs> Uh, I think that you should definitely bring your bug out bag. It goes with me everywhere. Regardless of how this stuff plays out. Whether it's the apocalypse that <laughs> We're E3 just this bugging year. out from E3. Yeah. I'm out. Ah! That's it. Oh, E3 is so close. <laughs> right, who wants a light stick? E3 is like two weeks from now, you guys. Nah. Nah. Hasn't, hasn't gotten real for you yet, Patrick? Yeah, it's closer than that. Well, Jeff, you were... Uh, it's just slightly closer.